Now at 6, public health officials are warning Central Ohio law enforcement to be on the lookout for an international substance known as betel nut. This is serious stuff. It's considered a poisonous carcinogen. But police say teens are taking it to get high. Health inspectors want it off store shelves. And 10 TV's Maureen Kosat went to three stores to find out if that warning is working. This product is called Tersi. It contains betel nut, labeled by the World Health Organization as a carcinogen, and by Reynoldsburg police, a way for kids to chew it like smokeless tobacco and get high. We believe there's a, a euphoric effect, but it also um, affects their equilibrium. There's a, there's a general loss of balance and coordination that goes along with using this product. Reynoldsburg police say they've caught several teenagers who immigrated from Nepal abusing betel nut at the Summit High School campus and say a plainclothes officer walked into this international market on Main Street Wednesday and paid $3 for an entire box of Tersi. We walked right into the store, um, asked for it. Uh, they gave us a, a once over look and then provided us a, with a box full of these packages. 10TV has obtained a health report which shows food inspectors from Franklin County Public Health targeted the store and found nearly a half dozen products containing betel nut, including whole frozen betel nuts. 10TV has learned inspectors forced employees to dump out each individual package and then throw all of the betel nut away in this dumpster out back. 10TV went back to the store today and found no evidence of betel nut on store shelves. Health experts say betel nut isn't a controlled substance, but is linked to cancer of the mouth and esophagus and to tooth decay. Franklin County Public Health has inspectors continuing to search markets for betel nut before it falls into the hands of more teens. In Reynoldsburg, Maureen Kosat, 10 TV News. Franklin County Public Health says its inspectors have the power to embargo betel nut in licensed stores. The FDA and the Ohio Department of Agriculture are now involved in the investigation, too.